Today we are in Frankfurt. After traveling for four hours and a half to get here, our first mission is to find our shelter for the night to drop off our stuff. Frankfurt does not have the best reputation. It is well known for their banks, skyscrapers, the Red District, very sketchy train station and the highest crime rate in Germany. If you ever plan on visiting Frankfurt yourself, here are some areas that I would not necessarily recommend exploring. Just so you know. Fortunately, or unfortunately, our hotel was quite close to the train station, but it is certainly not located in the coziest area, to say it lightly. But maybe that's why it was cheap. However, the hotel looked very interesting. It was designed by the Honda Vasa's assistant, which explains a lot. Nevertheless, we managed to check in and now comes the big reveal of our room. It's so tiny! That's what she said. Not only did the room have astonishing new color-changing LED lights oh. and an amazing view. Oh, but the bathroom is pretty big. Damn, I have two mirrors. The main reason we got this hotel was the kettle. Yes, I have a tea addiction and I'm okay with it. The room also came with an iron, which is perfect timing since I was just complaining about how wrinkly my pants were. With my freshly ironed pants, we were ready to explore more of what Frankfurt has to offer. After escaping the train station part of the city, we were safe and sound walking on the main street. Frankfurt is a business city. And as we know, there is no business without coffee. So my main goal for this trip is to find some coffee beans as a gift for my dad. I found a euro! Therefore, after we passed by the big euro sign, I checked our first coffee shop that looked very cute. But they only had espresso and filter coffee. And that's not what I'm looking for. I just need normal coffee beans. Oh, look at this. It's, um... Yeah. Mercedes. So, we walked some more and discovered the beautiful, very German-looking old town main square. This is very reminiscent of the main square in Trier. I mean, all European cities are pretty much the same. They even have a big old cathedral. Lifetime. We're hungry, so it's time to hunt down some food. Not just any food, but a special dessert at the Golden Scales. And here it was, a little piece of perfection, the Frankfurt Crown Cake. It is a firm sponge cake filled with jam, thickly coated with buttercream and topped with caramel covered nuts and cocktail cherries. We took one to share, because this place is fancy and not cheap. I mean, they have sugar with gold flakes, that type of fancy. Oh, it's hard. That's what she said. Ooh, it's jam inside. Mm. I mean, it's cream. Mostly cream. It, it tastes as cute as it looks. It's very sugary. Oh, yeah. My final verdict. I would never order this again, but I'm very happy about the experience. After we finished our sugary dessert, we walked around some more and we found a comic book store where I respectfully snatched a free bookmark. I used to watch the show. Avatar cooking. Oh my god. Why is it just Zuko? Zuko likes cooking. <laughs> oh, and cookies. Then we accidentally stumbled upon the small market hall, which was half closed since it was a bit too late, but it was still nice to see. Ooh, spices. Looks like someone <laughs> got murdered. We were still hungry for some real food. So we headed to the big shopping mall in hopes of finding something more than just donuts and coffee. Dunkin' Donuts. As I was distracted by the Peppa the Pig balloon, I felt a mysterious force was pulling me behind. I stepped on a gum and I was struggling to get it off. As we entered the mall, we naturally gravitated towards the food utopia passageway. There's another Starbucks. That led us to the longest escalator in Frankfurt. It made me realize how giant this shopping mall is. Dang. It's a big ass mall. Another Starbucks. Immediately, something unexpected caught our eyes. Chipotle? I only heard legends about it while watching Keith's Eat the Menu series. But I had no idea it would be here. So we were tremendously excited to try. Both in agreement of taking a burrito, with no really special requests, we got our big boy. And we were ready to taste test. Mm. Good? I feel spicy. 
It tasted as Mexican as a restaurant from Denver, America could be. Pretty good. With our satisfied tummies, we walked some more around the mall. Little ant. Pick it up and take it somewhere. And looked at some interesting things. This is so cute. Men? You put them on your wine glass. They're kind of cute. Yeah, I knew you would like them. Wow. Yummy. Remember cats? <laughs> no. Walking around, you can see that the city is filled with many pretentious looking coffee places. And I'm all about it. Plus, too many Starbuckses, in my opinion. We encountered the Iron Bridge that is trying to copycat the bridge in Cologne. However, it does have a nice view of the Frankfurt skyline. Oh, this is great. Then we passed the Sushi Burger Place bar. And I found a vintage store. I found some groovy things. Not bad. Looks like something you already owned twice. <laughs> and tried on your grandma's blouse. Nevertheless, I left empty-handed. Yeah. Maybe a bit too pink. After a small rest and an outfit change, we were ready to go back to the city and walk around some more. <laughs> we found the one and only Oprah house with cats. Cats! With a compensating for something fountain and an unexpected climbing wall. But now the real reason why we're outside is because we have a package to pick up. At the Mermaid Coffee Shop, also known as Starbucks. Yesterday I bought a too good to go bag for today's dinner. Kinda. It's quite hefty. Mm, it's hefty. And there's a lady. The amount of food that we got was insane. The quality was worse than I expected, honestly. I think, I guess. With cheese and chicken? Damn, okay. Very little ingredients, yeah. that's okay. Another sandwich. Okay, okay. With pesto? I don't know. Ooh, another sandwich. What a surprise. Oh, this ham is cheese. so depressing. <laughs> it really is. Pretzel. Ham and butter pretzel. Ham and butter pretzel. Not bad, not bad. Egg and cheese bake. Solid four out of five. And how much did we pay? Four euros. Exactly. It's spicy. Spicy? But it's okay. However, I was mostly sad that we got just sandwiches since I was craving something sweet. To satisfy my sweet tooth, we went back to the shopping mall that had one store open, which was the Big Rava. It had many actually good salads, tomatoes that I saw only on TikTok, baby bananas, babies! No, they're normal size. Baby smoothies, a whole salad bar station, and a gigantic selection of cold, ready to drink coffees. I've never seen this in my life. That's crazy. Just look at these mini donuts. Oh, so cute. I also took a look at the coffee that they sold, maybe for my dad, but I wasn't really keen on it. It's from Latvia. New York. Saw with the candy bar in one hand and an amazing view of the city skyscrapers, we went to our hotel to get a good night's sleep. Woke up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy and was ready to pack all the stuff, say goodbye to our lovely room and hunt down our breakfast. And if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I can't resist buying some German pastry. And for some contrast from the sweetness, I bought myself a cappuccino at one of those pretentious looking coffee places. Plus, they had really cute looking packaged coffee. But sadly, they also had only espresso and filter coffee. So, my search for a gift continued. Now, all we need is to find a nice peaceful spot to enjoy our lovely breakfast. This is the breakfast, and the cappuccino looks beautiful and tasted great. As we were ready to dive in, we had some visitors. Boss was attacking us, and the, the ducks are also here. That's not good. So we decided to switch benches. The sun was shining and the view was lovely, but alas, there was no peace, since I was rudely disturbed by a wasp that wanted a piece of my Erdbeerplunder. Ah! In the meantime, our friends came back. Oh no! <laughs> as hungry as we are, they did not give up without a fight. Help! <laughs> no! They were determined to eat some of our tasty buns. 
Startled, I accidentally yeah. dropped a piece of strawberry, which I thought could satisfy the beast, but he was not impressed. Instead, he nibbled on a crusty stain on the pavement. Yeah, yeah, that is not good. <laughs> I don't want to know. Feeling fed up with all the bullying, we left and ate our breakfast on the go. I just wanted a peaceful breakfast. Yeah, that's all I wanted. Yesterday, we didn't have time to visit the classic big old cathedral, so that was on my list. And it looks fine. Strangely, it looks new on the inside. And as we were suspecting, it was burnt down, destroyed and rebuilt several times. Frankfurt has many interesting museums that I would visit if I had some money too. But if you are planning to visit any of these museums, every last Saturday of the month there's a free entrance to any museum, just so you know. But even though we didn't manage to visit any of the museums, we accidentally found a free exhibition at the main square. Random paintings. Some looked cute and some looked abstract. After examining some more coffees in a sleek looking cafe, with no success, there was one only place left, in hopes of finding the right fit. I think they stopped being friends. Yeah. Wackers, wakers, coffee shop. This is my last hope. As we entered, we got punched in the nose with the smell of coffee. They have a tremendous selection and very tasty looking treats. Mm. Stop, no distractions. With the guidance of the coffee connoisseur, we bought some coffee beans that hopefully my dad will like. Ta-da! Perfect, I hope. Although this was still the morning, we started heading to the train station, since we had a 4-hour train ride ahead of us. Exciting. <laughs> to get there, obviously, we took the metro, because I obviously knew that Frankfurt had a metro. The sunlight was peeking through the rooftop so gracefully. We located our train, and with an unknown how many day old sandwich in my hand, we were ready to go home. Fun fact, Frankfurt also has the biggest airport in Germany, which is pretty useful to get to my next destination. 